Hi, my name is Renee Greenlee. I'm an artist living and working in Vermont, and today we're going to head to my studio in Burlington. This is the Karma Bird House. It has a number of different studios and businesses located within the building. Kestrel is on the first floor. They have amazing coffee. My studio is up on the second floor. I spend most of my time in the studio editing photographs and videos for clients, but my studio is also a great space for thinking about and reviewing work. I keep a variety of different books and objects, things that inspire me, like the work of Anna Atkins. She was one of the first femme cyanotype makers in the 1800s. I also have negatives that I'm getting ready to print in the darkroom and work by other local artists, like that print by Emma Warren. I keep prints from my field study series, cyanotypes made with lake water. These are from the five different areas of Lake Champlain. I'm often inspired by authors that write about the landscapes they inhabit and how they explore and understand their surroundings. One of my favorite books is A Field Guide to Getting Lost by Rebecca Solnit. In it, she writes, the world is blue at its edges and in its depths. This blue is the light that got lost. I see my work as finding the light, the light scattered in water, as Solnit writes, manifesting itself on the surface of silk or paper through the cyanotype process. For this video, I wanted to share with you my process for making a cyanotype on silk. Cyanotype is a photographic printing process that produces a cyan blue print. First, I dye the fabric using a liquid cyanotype solution. Then I hang it up to dry in a darkened space with no windows. This is because the fabric, once it's dyed, is sensitive to UV light. Once the piece is dry, I take it to the water's edge to expose, using the lake water and organic material as compositional elements. Here we are in St. Albans. It was one of the hottest days of the summer and there was evidence of cyanobacteria in the water. When I completed the piece, I brought it back to the studio to dry. There, I'm able to consider it among all the other pieces. My goal with this project is to fill a room with silk panels so that folks could walk through the room, feeling the softness of the material and the movement of the pieces, imagining themselves at the water's edge. I've had the opportunity to put together a show of this work, Blue Alchemy, at the Karma Birdhouse this past summer. The purpose of the project is to show how we are all connected to our local watershed, the Lake Champlain Basin. Whether it is a stream, a river, a pond, all of our water flows to the lake in some way. The act of making is an act of reciprocity. As I consider the landscape in its state of constant change, I am fascinated by the cyanotypes and how they change throughout their exposure. It is always remarkable to me how the landscape itself comes through in the final piece. 